Let's build an AFK raid farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.19. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and find ourselves a pillager outpost. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and fill in the floor right here and break any of the chests that are up top here. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down some glass panes all the way across this top layer in between the logs like I'm doing so here. And we're going to go ahead and create a nice little grid pattern out of it. And it gets a lot easier once you've actually got the walls in. So there we go. We're just going to go across like so until the entire top layer in between the logs is filled just like this then you can go ahead and you can kill off all of the pillagers that are outside of the farm i have absolutely no clue where that leg spike came from <laughs> while killing them if you do end up getting the bad omen effect just go ahead and drink yourself some milk and the effect will go away and then you can continue on killing off all of the pillagers. After killing off all of the pillagers, you should have some pillagers inside of the glass pane grid. And wherever they are, that is going to be the spawn location for your pillager outpost. So what we can do now is go ahead and break all of these glass panes, except for the four that are encasing all of the pillagers. So we're going to just quickly go around them. That way we don't accidentally release them all, just like so. So do not break these glass panes and we're going to go ahead and break the rest of these right now. After you've broken all of the glass panes, we're going to go ahead and kill off these pillagers now. Again, whenever you get the bad omen effect, just drink some milk. And then what we're going to do is we're going to break the four blocks underneath of those glass panes and replace them with some normal blocks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to destroy pretty much the entirety of this outpost up until this second floor right here. So we're just going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. And we're going to destroy every single part of this except for the glass planes and the blocks that you've placed. Now this is what the outpost should now look like. Most of it should be gone and this is the only bit left. What we're going to do is we're going to place down another row of blocks right underneath of this platform that we built. And then we're going to go ahead and build a trident killer right here. So you might want to build a platform or something for you to stand on. We're going to place down a piston right here, a piston right here, here, and here. So they're going to be alternating and they're all going to be pointing in different directions. So you should never have two pistons lined up. Now what we want to do is set down temporary blocks on all of the pistons like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down observers that are looking into those blocks so that way they power the pistons. Then what we're going to do is we're going to destroy all of the temporary blocks and we're going to replace them with redstone torches that are placed onto the pistons just like so. And this is going to create a redstone clock that is going to be pushing all of these pistons around. As you can see, this is going to be the thing pushing the trident. Go ahead and place down a 4x4 of blocks right underneath of the trident killer. And this is going to allow us to pick up all of the drops. We're going to go ahead and throw down a lever on one of these pistons and turn it on. That way the trident killer stops so you don't have to listen to it. We're going to build down by 3 blocks underneath of one of the center 4 blocks. And we're going to break these 2 blocks right here. We're going to place down a hopper that is going to be running into a temporary block right here. And we're going to go ahead and shift place a rail on top of that hopper with a minecart hopper on top of it. We can then go ahead and break this temporary block and replace it with a chest. And then we can go ahead and place down another chest right here. And we can run a hopper into that chest. So this is going to be the storage system for this bottom part right here. And this is going to be how we get bad omen for the raid farm. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to place two blocks around these glass panes, just like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and figure out exactly where this pillager is spawning. We're going to leave a little doorway right here. And we're going to go ahead and throw down some oak leaves on top of the building blocks right here. Now we're going to go ahead and fly away or build up, run away, whatever you need to do. To get away from the farm until we get a pillager in here just to double check that he is in fact spawning in here and then what we want to do is open up a locator map and we want to look into the southeast direction like i am right here meaning that this is the block that the pillager is spawning on so we're gonna go ahead and kill him and get this all worked out all right i grabbed myself a sword so we can go ahead and kill him but as you can see we're just gonna break this glass pane 
break all of these blocks and this is the block that the pillager is actually spawning on and the reason for that is that when you look at this block you are looking in the southeast direction so hopefully that makes sense and if not i mean you have four chances of getting it right so just experiment with it but this is the block and this locator map trick does in fact work we are really close to being done with the bad omen generator so what we're gonna do is break this glass pane right here replace it with a glass block and then we're gonna go ahead and throw a trident at this piston face and we're gonna fill in this wall place down a leaf block right here and then fill in the ceiling with normal blocks and then fill it up with leaves just like this then if we go ahead and turn this on and we go away we will in fact get the bad omen effect eventually and if you don't want the bad omen effect then just turn the trident killer off but if we wait we will in fact get the bad omen effect and this is how we're going to be generating the bad omen to get the farm working and as you can see we did get the bad omen effect and that's because the trident killer here killed one of the pillager captains it might take a while it could take up to i think about a minute maybe a minute and a half but generally speaking it will not matter because this farm is super super efficient all right obviously you guys are not playing in creative mode so we need a way to get up to the farm and to do that we're gonna go ahead and use some scaffolding so we're gonna line up with the edge of the trident killer right here and we're gonna place scaffolding until we are two blocks higher than the lever like this then from here we're gonna go ahead and place 32 more scaffolding and that's gonna be where we afk and build the rest of the farm after you have built up by 32 blocks we're gonna go ahead and build a platform right over top of this trident killer right here so we're gonna build a 4x4 platform out of normal building blocks and this is gonna be where the kill chamber is for the raid farm just like so then we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a nice little afk platform right here and this is gonna be where you stand for the farm to work so make this thing as nice as you want but make sure that everything is made out of leaves that way no mobs are gonna spawn up here with you and no raid farm guys are gonna spawn here either any pillagers all right the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and build ourselves a second trident killer up here and we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna place down four pistons making sure that none of the piston faces are looking in the same direction and then we're gonna go ahead and throw down redstone torches on the sides of all of these pistons just like so and we're gonna go ahead and make a bunch of observers look in the direction of those redstone torches just like so that way all of the redstone dots are pointing into the piston faces and if we go ahead and just start this up by turning on this lever and turning it off as you can see we have got a working trident killer here now what we're gonna do is build a second layer over top of the trident killer and then we're gonna go ahead and build up by 17 blocks on every single one of these blocks once you've built up by 17 blocks we are going to go ahead and build out by seven blocks in two directions so first off we are going to build out by seven over top of the scaffolding so three four five six and seven so that's right over top of your afk platform and we're going to build out by seven on this side as well so that is four five six and seven then we're going to go ahead and connect all of this up to create a giant square just like so and then we're going to go ahead and fill this in so this is going to be where we are actually going to be spawning the raid and this is going to be where they get pushed into the chamber over here after you've done this and we have got this platform we're going to go ahead and add one more layer around this side right here and then we're going to build up by one block and this is going to be where we're capturing all of the raid guys and this is going to keep them contained and all of the water streams contained as well we want to build this up so that it is six blocks tall after you've built up the walls of the chamber by six this is what it should now look like and we're going to go ahead and throw down one more layer this time using leaves and this is going to make it so that no mobs will spawn on the top of the chamber and this is going to make it so that they all get pushed into the kill chamber so on the opposite corner of the chamber right here we're gonna go ahead and set down one block and one water bucket just like so then we're gonna go ahead and place down water buckets on every single block except for the corners right next to the one block we're gonna do the same thing over here and this is gonna create a water stream that leads directly into the kill chamber and it's going to be perfect 
then we're going to go ahead and place down signs on the third layer above the kill chamber and this is going to kill all of the ravengers because unfortunately ravengers will not fit inside of the chamber so we're going to go one and we're going to make a diagonal just like this to keep all of the lava contained however the drops will still go down in here so the ravengers will die and then the drops will drop down but they won't be killed by the tridents so you will miss out on a little bit of xp but this is better anyways so there we go we have got the lava there the ravengers are going to float up into the lava catch on fire and die and everything else is going to be carried down directly into the kill chamber nice and clean all right now it is time to get the villager up into the farm so in order to do this i highly recommend not having the bad omen effect and i also recommend that you turn the kill chamber off or you're going to start a raid and things will get messy very quickly so make sure there is no way for you to get the bad omen effect and then we're going to come up to the top of the farm right here and we're going to build down by seven so one two three four five six and seven go ahead and break these blocks right here and we're going to place down some temporary solid blocks place down a bed right here and break these blocks and then we're going to place down three pieces of glass just like so and we're going to do the same thing on this side of the bed go ahead and cover this in leaves like this and now we need to get a villager up into this chamber so you can do this via minecart or bubble column i think rails are probably the easiest and then we're going to go ahead and get a villager in here after you've gone ahead and got a villager into the chamber by any means necessary and it's linked up to the bed congratulations this farm is now fully functioning all we have left to do is to build the collection system for this bottom trident killer which is really simple and easy so to build the collection system we're going to climb down the scaffolding to about five blocks or so place down a leaf block right here and we come up a couple blocks and this is going to be where we build the storage system so first off we're going to build another platform right here that way you can walk around and look at all of your drops without <laughs> falling off. So we're going to go ahead and place down a block right here and a block right here. So that way we can place down another temporary block and have a hopper running into that block. And then go ahead and place down a rail and a minecart hopper just like so. Then you can go ahead and break this block and replace it with a double chest. And then again, double chest right here. And then we're going to have a hopper running into that chest. And we're going to place another double chest right underneath of that hopper. With again, another hopper running into that double chest. And you can continue this down literally all the way down to bedrock. And this is going to be the collection system for all of the drops of the raid farm. But congratulations, you are fully done your raid farm. And this is all fully functioning. All you need to do now is come down here. Turn on this trident killer, which will give you the bad omen effect and turn on this trident killer which will kill all of the raids so now you all all you have to do now is go ahead and wait and the raid will begin very shortly as you can see we went ahead and got ourselves the bad omen effect and the raid is beginning however i do believe that i forgot to throw the trident into this trident killer so let's quickly do that yep i did in fact forget to put the trident into the trident killer so go ahead and kill off all these guys and then go ahead and throw in the trident and now block this off and it is good to go so as you saw we completed wave one of the raid i'll let this raid join up and we can go ahead and actually take a look at everything spawning so everything's going to spawn on this top platform as you can see here and everything is going to go directly into the chamber and die to the trident killers and then it's going to start the next wave so you can afk here for as long as you want and it's just going to continuously give you raids and you're going to get all of those sweet, sweet drops. All right, but that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and you built this raid farm along with me. This thing is super awesome and you can AFK at it for as long as you would like. 8 hours, 12 hours, whatever, you name it, you can AFK. And this thing will continuously run. This thing is awesome and hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, please do consider smashing that like button and subscribing. My name is 1FMC and I'll catch you guys in the next one.